In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the information on pages Word 82 and 83, which is entitled Insert Page Breaks. Now, as you type text in a document, Word inserts an automatic page break. Now, in the business, we also call that a soft page break when you reach the bottom of a page, which allows you to continue typing on the next page. Now, you can also force text onto the next page of a document by using the breaks command uh, to insert a manual page break, which in the business we call that a hard page break. Another way to control the flow of text is to apply pagination settings using the line and page breaks tab in the paragraph dialog box. So we're going to be taking a look at all these different things uh, in this video. Uh, step one on page word 82 tells us that we want to go down here uh, currently where it says 61 percent we want to click on that and we want to make that 100 percent so we want to get this back up to where we can edit it one page at a time and it tells us that we want to scroll to the bottom of page one so here we are bottom of page one uh, on there and it tells us that we want to place our insertion point before the heading malaria a serious uh, health risk for travelers so we're going to place our insertion point right here because if you notice that this just leaves a paragraph up here and you have to go to the next page to continue reading that uh, article uh, and in this case we want to make that go along to the next page uh, to do that we're going to click on the page layout tab and then we're going to click on our breaks button and this is where we're going to be inserting in a hard page break uh, on there now of course right now we're taking a look at the breaks menu now we also use this menu to insert page, column, and text wrapping breaks as well. Uh, but you can see that page breaks, you know, that's what we're going to be inserting in. It takes the information after this break and puts it onto the next page. Uh, same thing with columns. If we would put a new section uh, or a column break in there, uh, that would move the information following that break to the next column. And of course with text wrapping, uh, it's going to separate text around objects on web pages such as, such as uh, caption text from body text as well. Uh, and that's really going to force the text following the break to begin at the beginning of the next line is really what that means. In step two it tells us we want to click on page. And of course notice that we see that a page break has appeared because we still have our formatting marks on, uh, on there. And this is the manual page break or a hard page break. And of course, that's going to move the malaria, a serious health risk for travelers, and all the text following that information onto the next page. Now, it doesn't put it on a page by itself. It just moved everything onto the next page so that all this is all tied in together. Now, of course, to control the flow between, uh, or of text between columns, you insert a column break to force the text after the break to the top of the next column. In step three, it tells us that we want to scroll down a little bit more, and we're going to place our insertion point before the heading Preventive Options, which is right here. So we're going to place our insertion point just right here before the Preventive Options for Serious Travel uh, Health Issues. Once we have that, we're going to press and hold our Control key and then hit Enter. And of course, you notice that when you press Control Enter, that is another way and a fast way to insert a manual page break or a hard page break. Now, the heading is forced to the top of the third page. So you notice that here we have our page one, and of course, we insert a page break there. And then, of course, we insert another page break right here on page two, and that has moved the information around. So let's move that to the top of page three. On step four, it tells us that we want to scroll to the bottom of page three. So while we're on page three, we're just going to scroll down to the bottom. And we want to take a look here, and we're going to place our insertion point before the heading here, Insurance for Travelers. And then we're going to press our Control and Enter again to insert in another hard page break. And now the heading is going to be forced to the top of the fourth page. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to scroll up a little bit and we're going to click to the left of the page break on page two. So once we go up here, and of course here's our page two, we're just going to go to the left of this page break here. Once we have that, and of course uh, the selection pointer 
should be a right pointing uh, page break so you want to uh, click on that there and that's going to select the page break now if you place your insertion point here that just gets you uh, lined up with it and if you move your mouse, mouse pointer just to the left a little bit you'll notice it turns into a right pointing arrow in which you can click and select the page break once you have that you can click on delete and what that's going to do is that's going to delete the manual page break and the text from pages two and three end up flowing together. Now you can also use the selection pointer to click to the left of a section or a column break to select it. Now of course you can also, another way of uh, selecting uh, these breaks is to double click a page break to select it and then you can press delete to delete it. Uh, so there's just a couple different ways of selecting uh, page breaks for you or any kind of breaks. Step six tells us that we're going to place our insertion point before the heading medical kit on page two. So here we go, just a little bit below uh, the text that recently got moved back onto page two. Here we have medical kit, uh, and we're going to press our control and enter and put our page break there. So uh, we decided that we didn't want the preventative uh, options for serious health uh, issues uh, to be on the next page. We wanted the medical kit and personal items to be on the next page. So we're going to put some more information right here. After we have that, we're going to click on our View tab, and we're going to view the multiple pages again to take a look at our document. And of course, we see our page one really hasn't changed much. Our page two is starting to balance itself out a little bit. We still have a little bit of a blank area here where we can in put in some more information. Our page three looks pretty good. It looks pretty full on there. And of course, our page four, instead of uh, only being a quarter way full, is now over half full. So. Uh, once again, this is just a way of making the document look better, making it uh, better for the readers. Go ahead and make sure that you do save your document uh, on there. Now, of course, you can control automatic pagination. And, of course, uh, and what, when we talk about pagination, uh, we're talking about moving text to the next uh, page on there. Uh, because you can control the flow of text between pages or between columns is to apply pagination settings to specify where word positions uh, automatic page breaks. Now to apply automatic page, uh, pagination settings you simply select the paragraph or lines you want to control and you can click the launcher in the paragraph group. So let's just say right here I want to choose this and if I go to my page layout tab uh, on there or excuse me, uh, or you can do this from the page layout tab in the paragraph or from the home tab on the paragraph. Either one, there's a, you can click on the launcher there. And once you have that, uh, we can go through and we can take a look at this. And it tells us that once we've uh, selected this, uh, we went to the home uh, or the page layout tab, we can click on the line and page breaks tab. And this is where we're going to be able to change the pagination settings, which we can uh, take a look here. Now, of course, one thing that's automatically um, identified is the widow and orphan control. And, of course, um, that's turned on by default, and it's going to ensure that at least two lines of a paragraph appear at the top and bottom of every page or column by preventing a page or column from beginning only with the last line of a paragraph, which is known as a widow, or ending with only the first line of a new paragraph, which is what we call an orphan. Now some other options that you can choose on here, you can choose to keep with next. And that's to apply any paragraph uh, on there that you select. You want to appear together with the next paragraph in order to prevent the page or column from breaking between the paragraphs. Or you can also choose to keep lines together. And of course you, that is to apply the selected par uh, to the selected paragraph that you chose or to lines to prevent a page or column from breaking in the middle of a paragraph or between certain lines. Or of course we also have the page break before and that is uh, apply to add an automatic page break before a specific paragraph. Uh, so those are some different pagination uh, options that you can choose uh, to help uh, make your document flow just a little bit better. We want to go ahead and click on our cancel here and just make sure that your document is saved and we are, uh, that concludes the information that's on pages Word 82 and 83. Uh, you're ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to be talking about page numbers.